Hello YouTube friends, <clears throat> Deep South here. This is a VR for Forest Preppers. 1,000 subscriber contest, giveaway, appreciation, whichever you like to call it. <clears throat> it's definitely appreciation. He's showing his appreciation by um, some very nice gifts. Uh, excuse me, I'm getting hoarse for some reason. Um, Forrest, uh, congratulations on your subs. I and mean, you've come a long way since you've been out here. Um, I think you've been out here a little over a year. We started at just about the same time. Um, I know this is the second contest I've done for you. And you've done a couple of mine. <clears throat> but um, what you want to see for your contest is uh, our kit what we're using presently I guess and at least this is what I'm showing in the video if it's not uh, what you want it I apologize and um, this is appreciation and I'm not really that concerned on winning but I'm working on an ultralight system now but I'm also um, if you'll see behind me got a British Ar um, Army Bergen and um, that's not the ultralight system that, um, that I'm working on, but it is in there. And I wanted to see uh, what I could get away with and how little I could use last night. One of the most important things for me is my thermocell. I will have this all four seasons of the year here in Florida, in the south. It's March. It's March 21st now. You know, we had freezing weather two weeks ago. I mean, down in the 30s, 20s Fahrenheit. And then it would get up to 80 the next day. Um, last night it was 65 degrees. And it got down to 59 this morning, early this morning. And then today it was 90. It might be cold and freezing, but you just never know when you get a snap. It's always best to have your thermocell, if not, at least some off. But I could not have slept last night, which you'll see my system later. I, I didn't have a, a bug net, and I slept basically under the stars. Um, my first hammock, <laughs> my hurt, my first hammock camp which was very interesting and I'll talk about that later in another video also because it was definitely an experience for me um, positive and negative um, also for the contest you besides showing our gear you wanted us a um, shout out a channel that's got 100 subs or less or someone that you think deserves to have uh, be shouted out <coughs> Mart the Mad Scientist, or also known as UK Survivalist. He's got some fantastic videos. Um, I'm not exactly sure how I came across him. I think that I saw him, um, he was having a contest for his 100 sub subscribers. Um, and I might have clicked on that, you know. Um, I don't enter um, contests you know um, if I'm not already sub so I didn't enter that one and I don't even think if I was, if I was qualified or not I, I'm not sure it might have been just for the UK but he's got some fantastic uh, videos I really like his channel um, I like his topic man um, his topics his topic man uh, matter is what I'm trying to say I'm trying to do this video and listen for turkeys at the same time I got to get my priorities straight here um, I really want to get a turkey this year. <clears throat> He's got videos on um, his allotment in the UK. Um, I think it's very interesting the way he's got that set up. He does a lot of stoves, rocket stoves. Um, he uh, made a pot belly stove out of a gas cylinder. He also plays around with fire and fire lighting methods. Uh, he's just now getting into, getting into um, kayaking which I thought was very interesting. And for some reason I'm losing my voice. I have no idea why, except possibly that 
I've been out here for about 48 hours and I haven't talked to anybody. <laughs> and then I did a video earlier and um, maybe I'm just not used to talking. But um, the only thing I've really added to my kit um, I had to show that. Um, and that's it. I'm going to show you my kit and um, then that's going to be it. Because uh, I actually shot it first. Because <laughs> I thought I was going to run out of light. So um, forest at the end of it is just going to cut off. But um, I really appreciate uh, you giving me the support that you've given me and entering my contest. And I want to show my appreciation for entering yours. And I think you've got some good, um, some really great videos. I was going to say good, but they're much better than good. And you have done so much for the conspiracy community. you were in on last year with Mr. Scooty and the others. Um, I really enjoy your channel and um, all the best to you, brother. So take care. I'm out of here. Um, at the end of this video, it's probably going to just shut off because I've already done the first part. Now, and the second part first. Because I do things like that. I was actually scared I was going to run out of light. So, congratulations on your 1,000 subs, and I'm out of here. And maybe I can get my mind back on turkeys because that's definitely where they are right now. I was hoping I might get one on this video. You take care, Forrest. Okay, this was the setup that I used last night. It's an Eno double nest hammock. It's my f second hammock. Um, Bruce Stevenson made me a hammock. And I thought I had it with me last night, but I didn't. And um, this one was in my ultralight bag anyway. And that's the system that I'm working on presently. Um, inside it I've got the military sleep system with um, the bivy bag and just the patrol bag inside or some people call it the intermediate bag turkey I hunted all day didn't see or hear a turkey now I've got one goblin while I'm doing this video I've um, got a thermo rest pillow Play with this new toy a little bit. So I got a thermal rest pillow. And you'll notice that I do not have a tarp. They have cut all these woods. Clear cut them. And from where I am perched now, I have a perfect view the constellation setting so I laid in bed last night and watched Orion set um, but a drawback to that I did not take in account for the heavy 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 dew and after midnight last night um, there was a thick fog came in and it was so thick that the visibility was only about 25 foot and so everything was soaking wet but originally I was going to use just my um, uh, poncho liner because it was so warm last night but I am so glad that I decided against that in case I did get cold during the night and I used that bivy bag or I would have been soaking wet and miserable but other than that this is my setup this is everything that I used last night and probably could get by with 100% now. And starting from the left is a counterfeit U.S. military canteen. And a little kutsa that Michael um, Bearded Clan gave me. And a windscreen that I used with my 
transia burner and behind that is a Vargo pot cup 750 milliliter <clears throat> so also another cup the cuts I just wasn't quite enough and I was getting greedy <laughs> I was wanting bigger drinks bigger stronger drinks so um, I switched to that and inside of it say um like my fire fork spork GSI tea kettle and um Mike uh, micro pocket rocket and on top of that is a one cup mocha cup uh, mocha pot and that's it and that's all I used last night uh, as far as cooking I cooked straight out of the can that was sitting on the fire and I just opened that up and uh, some tortillas soft tortilla shells and that was my setup for this weekend that's all I've used basically <clears throat>